It's 551. Welcome back. We've got a couple of new movies hitting theaters this weekend. I like both of them. Take a look at this week's Dean's List reviews. Sometimes I think I feel more at home outside the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, wow. Me too. They're strange, aren't they? They're children. There is no mistaking a film by director Wes Anderson. The look, style, and words are always surreal, meticulous, funny, and often nostalgic. And his latest movie, Asteroid City, thank goodness, follows that mold perfectly. The movie's storyline is centered on an all-star quirky cast converging on a junior space cadet camp in a small desert town in the 1950s, where an actual asteroid once fell, leaving a massive crater in the ground. A crater around which something spectacular happens, setting off a series of events that are also spectacular and sweet and stylizingly silly, or in other words, classic Wes Anderson, which I happen to think is a good thing. Few directors have the ability to say so much in such a strikingly creative way, and even fewer have the vision to make every shot like a watercolor painting. Also, few directors can attract the caliber of actors as he has. Scarlett Johansson, in this case Jason Schwartzman, Oscar winner Adrian Brody, Tom Hanks, Tilda Swinton, Brian Cranston, Ed Norton, Steve Carell, Margot Robbie, and a crazy but memorable cameo by Jeff Goldblum, all delivering their lines that feel like they're satirizing themselves. Asteroid City doesn't stand a chance at the box office against the big popcorn movies, but for Anderson diehards and those who just want something different, you'll enjoy this Dean's List B. His parents hired me to bring him out of his shell before college. He's just been so worried about our son. Hi, am I allowed to be here? The other big release of the weekend also falls into the quirky category. It's Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence's No Hard Feelings, about a 30-something woman who's being paid by rich parents to date their awkward, introverted 19-year-old son. It's a coming-of-age, opposites attract gross-out comedy that you wouldn't expect to find an Oscar winner in, but she is trying to elevate this just-okay script. The result is a harmless, workable comedy that ends up at a Dean's List C+. And you can always get my weekly movie review sent to your phones every week by texting the word Dean to 97999, sponsored by Lyric Opera of Chicago, presenting West Side Story on stage. Now through Sunday, tickets are at westsidestorychicago.com.